my name is Aya, and today we're going to be doing or talking about some Fibonacci art in this problem. But first, before we get into all of that, we have to know what the Fibonacci sequence is. And so the Fibonacci sequence is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and like infinitely more. And the rule to getting the Fibonacci sequence is to add the two numbers that came before to get the next answer. So I'm um, so you just put one there because you have to start with some. And then one plus zero is one, and then one plus one is two, and then two plus two plus one is three, and on and on and on. So now that we know what the Fibonacci sequence is. Um, we can do f talk about the Fibonacci art. So we had an assignment to make our own, and this is what I did right over here. Um, the things I used was a was construction paper, scissors, glue, and a compass. And so, and so from the and we had to find a way to incorporate Fibonacci numbers into this. Um, kind of picture or art and so from the center oops so from the center to the perimeter for for all of them if, so for the center to the perimeter um the orange circle is eight centimeters the brown circle over here is five centimeters the white circle is three centimeters the green circle is two centimeters and the red and yellow circles right here are one centimeter. Now we're on to the problem. Rabbits, rabbits, and more rabbits. This problem came from the Amhos papyrus rind um, right here. And the problem is mature rabbits generate young rabbit, young pairs each month. At the beginning of the year, there is one young rabbit pair. By the end of the first month, they have matured. By the end of the second month, they have produced a young rabbit pair. The process continues. No rabbits die. If Ozzy gets one young rabbit pair in, j in January, how many rabbit pairs will she have in May? And Ozzy is just one of my friends in class. She wasn't actually in this, um... Per Paris, I don't think, but hey, you never know. And so this is what I did for that problem. Um, we went all the way down to October, so that's why it's like really long. Um, but the purple is young, and the blue is old, so it goes um purple, so it goes young, matured, um matured, young. Um, young, matured, matured, young, and, like, it just goes like that, and continues, and continues, and continues. Um, and so in January, there is one, in February, there is one again, and then in March, there's, um, two rabbit pairs, in April, there's three rabbit pairs, um, there's five in May, eight in June, 13 in July, 21 in August, 34, 6 in September, and 55 in October. And you could keep going with this. I'm just not because the 55 was really hard to fit in. And I mean, and that's a lot of rabbit pairs. And the, the circles aren't the only thing that follow the Fibonacci sequence in here. Um, and I figured if, like, the dots fi follow Fibonacci sequence, then shouldn't the lines? So, I counted them, and yes, they do. It just, they skip one of, of the one, so they skip January. Um, so you see one line, two lines, three lines, five lines, eight lines. And the second thing is the triangle. So, again, it skips one of the ones. So, here's the triangle right here. Um, triangle, two triangles. 
and on and on and on. We also invented this thing in class called the armless man. And so at the top here, you can see head, body, like legs and feet, but no arms, absolutely no arms. And um, I think I see another one right here. Um, and I realized that each new armless man's head is the other's foot. <laughs> so here's another one, kind of bent over. Um, and I believe this follows the Fibonacci sequence. I'm not too sure because my um, drawing was a little wonky, so it's kind of hard to keep track. Um, then, ne lastly, is the diamonds. And as you can see here, again, skip one one. Um, here's one diamond. You see, it just needs one more line here, then it becomes a diamond. Um, two diamonds over here. Uh, another diamond over here, and on and on and on. And now that we know that that problem came from the Amos Papyrus, and it has and it has Fibonacci the Fibonacci sequence in it, we know that we did this type of stuff first before the Greeks or the Latins, and base and basically before anyone else. And so the Greeks and the um, Latins basically just took our stuff and renamed it um, and s name yeah, renamed it after the guy who f like took it from us or learned and then taught it to the Greeks and then made it their own, I guess. And yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching.